afternoon. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Carolina Aircraft. I'm George Johnson, the Bonanza Man, and today we're here to look at a beautiful 1969 model Bonanza V35A, November 7802 Romeo. This is a very nice airplane that has been updated, has no damage history, and is a great value. Let's take a look. 7802 Romeo has a three blade Hartzell prop that has only 1260 hours on it since factory new. 7802 Romeo has been upgraded to the IO550 300 horsepower engine. This engine has GAMI fuel injectors. It has a JPI EDM 800 graphic engine monitor to monitor all six cylinders. It has the GAMI cooling baffles, and it also has the GAMI cooling louvers. With the 300 horsepower engine, this is a very fast, beautiful V35A Bonanza. With the 300 horsepower engine and the GAMI modifications for cooling and your GAMI fuel injectors, this is a very fast and efficient Bonanza V35B. The owner has operated this airplane mostly on the lean side of peak and with a wide open throttle at 7,000 feet with a RPM of about 2350 to 2400. He gets about uh, 165 to 170 knots on about 13 gallons an hour on the lean side of peak. That's really efficient and really fast. On the rich side of peak, he would be getting in excess of 175 knots true airspeed on about 16 and a half gallons an hour. 7802 Romeo has a very good history. The airplane was manufactured in November of 1968. All airplanes that came out after October 1st of 1968 were 1969 model V35As, this airplane being included. And you'll find that if you look in the Aircraft Blue Book or VREF or any of those uh, reference guides, plus uh, look at the factory serial numbers. This airplane from 1971 through 2009 was in Illinois and Finefield Aviation did the maintenance on this airplane from that time, Paul Finefield and his, his team up there. So the airplane has had excellent maintenance since new. The airplane has been hangered. The current owner has owned it since 2009 and it's been in Missouri. So this airplane hasn't been near the coast or anything like that. And it's in very good condition. I think this paint is original paint. You know, it's been touched up some. It needs some, uh, some touch up on the leading edges in certain places and some rivet heads and that sort of thing. But the paint is in very good condition. Total time on the airplane is 4,260 hours since new. And uh, logbooks are all complete. I've read every page. And the airplane's in very good condition. The airplane has lots of modifications since it was new. For instance, the strobe lights were not on here when the, fact, when the airplane was factory new. It also has shoulder harnesses for the front seats, rose and sun visors, some Garmin avionics equipment, and a lot of other nice modifications that you'll see. As you can see, the paint on 7802 Romeo is in very good condition. And you'll notice it has the small end number. Now, when the airplane gets repainted, You've got to change it <clears throat> to the large end numbers and maybe a different paint scheme. But this paint is in very good condition. The elevators have been repainted. And uh, a little bit of touch-up paint would really make this airplane uh, bring it up to about an 8. 7802 Romeo has the optional large cargo door and with a nice large baggage compartment. And this airplane has a useful load of 1146 pounds. You can put up to 270 pounds back here as long as you don't overload the airplane or get the airplane out of CG. The tail on 7802 Romeo is in excellent condition. There's no evidence of any uh, corrosion or anything like that. They've recently been repainted. The paint looks almost brand new on the elevators. 7802 Romeo comes with a custom sunshade kit plus a custom tow bar and custom cowling plugs. In addition to that, not pictured here, is a Bose noise canceling headset and a Lightspeed Zulu noise canceling headset. Those are worth about a thousand bucks each. 
7802 Romeo has a very nice interior. The seats are in great condition. So are the side walls, and you'll notice it has a four-place intercom system. The windows are in good shape, and so is the headliner. And you'll notice it has shoulder harnesses for the front seats that were not available in 1969. The windows are openable back here, so you can get more air while you're on the ground. And they also double as emergency exits. And this airplane has the reclining seat adjusters, so your passengers can actually take a nap on a long trip. Good night. 7802 Romeo has a fantastic instrument panel with upgraded avionics. Look at this wonderful panel. Let's take a look starting on the pilot side. You have a normal airspeed indicator. This is your artificial horizon and then your altimeter. Your three light marker beacons are above your altimeter. On the next row, we have a WX900 storm scope for weather avoidance. And then we have a King KCS55A slaved HSI, which houses your number one nav and your number one GPS. On the next, uh, we have your vertical speed indicator. Below this, we have your module for your GPSS steering for your STEC autopilot. And this is the download plug for your EDM 800 graphic engine monitor. This is your number two nav. You'll notice it also has a glide slope, so the airplane has dual glide slope indicators. And this is your JPI EDM 800 graphic engine monitor that monitors all six cylinders. In the center of the panel, we have your STEC 50 autopilot, and this has altitude hold. It will follow a nav. And of course it has GPSS steering and it will follow either NAV1 or NAV2. Uh, you'll notice that your uh, EDM 800 graphic engine monitor also has a fuel flow module. Mounted on the center of the yoke we have a Garmin 696 GPS multifunction display. This has several great features. At the top you'll notice I have it in the panel mode and this has your complete panel in case you lost everything else you can still fly the airplane IFR safely. You have your airspeed indicator, uh, you have a two minute turn coordinator, you have your uh, HSI in the middle, and then your altimeter and your vertical speed indicator. This also has chart view, it has XM satellite weather, and it has uh, your approach charts and your maps. Uh, one of the you know one of the best units and notice the colors this is very easy to read unlike some of the other displays that are out there in the aviation market this is a fantastic piece of equipment now let's take a look at your avionics stack starting at the top we have your King KMA24 audio panel with your three light marker beacons then we have a Garmin 530W with WAS and this has several different pages. This is your GPS uh, HSI page. And then we have your normal GPS map page. And this is your traffic page. This has the Garmin uh, GTX 330 transponder with TIS traffic. This is your terrain page. And we're on the ground, so this will show red. And then we have your uh, ATC information page and your satellite page. Next we have your number two comm. This is a KY197 by King. It's a digital comm. And then we have your number two nav, which is also an RNAV. This is a KNS80 nav RNAV DME system. Below this is your Garmin GTX 330 transponder. And as I mentioned earlier, this has TIS traffic. Now let's take a look at the pilot's control wheel. On the front we have a push to talk button. In the center we have a control wheel clock, and this doubles to time approaches. On the top of the right hand side of the wheel is a clearance playback switch. This little button will play back the last transmission from ATC 
and your reply. The airplane is equipped with rows and sun visors, which are a great addition to the airplane. And if you look at the windshield, the windshield is pretty clear. It has some stars in it, you know, from age, but the windshield's in pretty good shape. I'm sure this has probably been replaced at one time or the other. And your side windows and everything are very clear. If you want a great buy in a beautiful little Bonanza V35A that is fast, economical, and efficient, and has been upgraded with a Hartzell three-blade prop, the IO550 300 horsepower engine, GAMI fuel injectors, GAMI baffles, and GAMI louvers. You need to visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina and see November 7802 Romeo. This airplane has a lot of mods and a lot of upgrades that make it a fantastic value, like strobe lights, shoulder harnesses for the pilot and co-pilot, an upgraded Garmin uh, equipment with the Garmin 696 with a standby instrument panel uh, chart view, XM satellite weather, a Garmin 530W with WAS, a Garmin 330 transponder with TIS traffic, and an STEC 50 autopilot, plus a King KCS 55A slaved HSI. Visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina to see this beautiful bonanza, or give us a call at 336- 665-0300 and be sure to visit carolinaaircraft.com to see this beautiful V35A and all of our other nice bonanzas and barons. Have a great day!